Detroit Live Radio Play Comedy Adventures. How much fun does that sound? And they're going to be performing uh, Monday, March 12th at Live on Elgin, on Elgin Street, of course. Adventure in your ear. Uh, let's get a piece, uh, an example of what you can expect that night, right now, right here on Daytime Ottawa. New from Adipose Bakeries, it's deep fried tasty tater nugs on a stick. Being a single stay-at-home proctologist and mother to five strapping young boys thanks to their deadbeat father, I have a hard time cooking the types of healthy meals for my family that I would prefer. That's why I've turned to deep fried tasty tater nugs on a stick. Each Adipose Bakery's deep fried tasty tater nug on a stick is soaked in 100% organically grown stackable yak fat renderings, allowing each nug to deep fry in its own individual juices, keeping snack time or anytime simple, filling, and almost nutritious for kids and moms like me. Mom, I'm hungry. Where's the Adipose Bakery's deep fried tasty tater nugs on a stick? Yeah, Mom, I'm starving. I'm just tossing them in the nuca right now, my darlings. What's that you say? What exactly is an organically grown stackable yak? Well, I'll let the fellas down at the biomedical engineering farm tell you all about it. I'm sorry, ma'am. That requires a level five security clearance. Well, isn't that just a darn shame? I guess I'll just have to tell you what I've learned by reading the well-documented, unaltered, and unbiased blurb about the subject on the back of the box. Here at the Adipose Bakery's bioengineering farms, we only raise the healthiest organically grown gene-spliced yaks. Each yak is born hairless and without any limbs or any bothersome appendages of any kind, thus eliminating their carbon footprint because they have no feet. This allows them to be easily placed on a series of elevated tiny shelves in such tight proximity that they almost appear to be stacked. Each yak has two bio-organic tubes, one for feeding and one for extracting their delicious bovine fat renderings. By stacking our yaks and feeding them their deceased brethren, we are saving thousands of acres of the rainforest from deforestation. Their deceased brethren, you ask? Of course, Adipose Bakeries believes heavily in recycling. The deceased yaks are baked, dried, dehydrated, and then mixed into a liquid protein that is fed back to our yaks through that handy bio-organic feeding tube we were talking about earlier. So I hope that sheds a little light on a delicious and almost nutritious treat that my family enjoys on a daily basis. Pick up your box of Adipose Bakery's Deep Fried Tasty Tater Nugs on a stick from your local gas station or microbrewery today. Warning, Adipose Bakery's Deep Fried Tasty Tater Nugs on a stick should not be consumed by pregnant women, people with heart conditions, people with Alzheimer's, persons with high blood pressure, may cause bleeding kidneys, weakening of the knee cartilage, and spontaneous heart Heart liquefaction, I can't speak. And yak hoof. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. Um, I'm not 100% <laughs> sure what happened there, but that's, uh, <laughs> that's a lot of fun. Okay, um, first of all, uh, Martin is, is walking off because we need some room for a bit of an interview here. But uh, can you tell us, um, oh, first of all, Corey Tidbits, mm -hmm. nice to see you. And uh, Edith uh, Chartier yep. is with us. Can you tell us about uh, the other people that are in uh, this amazing troupe? Well, we also have uh, Miles Rourke, and we just had a new member who came on, uh, Victoria Luloff. Yeah, okay. And, and Ben Washartzing. Oh, and Ben Washartzing. <laughs> okay. I, I always forget your brother. So <laughs> that's I all right. don't. <laughs> Adventure in Your Ear, now. That's the name of the, uh, the comedy troupe here. Yes. Okay, so I I explain to us, Edith, uh, we just saw, obviously, a bit of a sample. Yeah. Uh, explain yourself. Explain the comedy <laughs> troupe to us. I can explain myself. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so the comedy troupe is sort of, um, it started out as a podcast and so uh, Corey, my brother and Miles tend to write the stories and write the scripts and then we get together, we review them, uh, we add in jokes, we edit jokes, we d do very, very silly things yeah. and then this is where we are now. <laughs> so that's a lot of fun, Corey. And it's not that I didn't understand what was going on there, but it was just so like, th there's so many different voices and so many different <laughs> characters. Uh, how long does it take you to... to craft a script like that? Um, well, typically we actually, all six of us sit around a table and we just fire out ideas mm -hmm. and we record that and then we'll go back and take out the best bits and come up with a script. So we're, we're writing about three scripts a month mm, okay. and the scripts are actually about 15 minutes in length. Okay, so, so it, it was a podcast to begin with. Now, how long ago did this all begin? Well, actually, it, it became a podcast and a live show at the same time because mm -hmm. we decided it needed to be performed live because it is comedy. We want to hear the audience enjoying it. Uh, it just sounds better. Yeah. Um, so we started 
almost a year ago, yeah. actually performing. And actually, this uh, on Monday, we're rebooting the podcast from scratch. So we're oh, going back. We've gotten better in the past year. So we're going back and starting all over again. Since we're better writers and performers now. Yeah. <laughs> so okay, wonderful. It's it, can you tell us, uh, so how many, so you said there's about four or five members in? in there's six members there's in six total. six members in total. Yeah. Now, when you all get up on stage, is it difficult to keep all those voices straight? We've <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, yes. Uh, but we we've rehearsed them a fairly you know a few times so we we each have our own characters that we do and we each have our own strengths and weaknesses so we try and do the characters that we're good at obviously okay yeah. uh, Corey and it's it, you're sort of it's a take on 1950s radio plays yes okay so which do you think is better received when people can see you or what can they can hear you um, I don't know, both. Uh, people have really enjoyed going to the live shows. Um, they're a little confused at first. The first time we tested it out was at a Comic-Con, mm -hmm. and I think they thought we were going to be acting yeah. up on stage, but we're just sitting there with our scripts and yeah. acting with our faces and voices. But so you definitely it's look really the voice role. acting. You look the role, too, so that must help. Yes, it, it helps sell it, and we, we found once people hear one of our commercials from our fake sponsor, Adipose Bakeries, they kind of get the idea of what's going on. So, so that was a little taste of, yeah. of the kind of commercials that we do. We just make up products, we make up companies, and then we do it in the style of the 1950s where they would just like randomly plug in some, some sort of mm -hmm. product in the middle of a show. But wouldn't it be fun if you got so big that you could actually put in real products? That is the hope. <laughs> that that <laughs> would be nice, but it's more fun to make up <laughs> stuff, like really weird things. Adventure in Your Ear happening Monday, March 12th, uh, live on Elgin. Not to be outdone, you're going to be at Comic-Con coming up in May as well. So yes. that's a lot of fun. And people can follow along at Facebook.com. Uh, search you out there, Adventure in Your Ear. Absolutely. Thank you very much for being here today. Thank you. That was Thank a lot you. of fun. Lots of fun. And you know we have even more fun coming up next right here on Daytime Ottawa on Rogers TV.